Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying five CB Stuffer. These are all peanut butter cups. They all have peanut butter uh, at the base, but they're with different items. Uh, so this one has marshmallow. This one has s'mores. This one is cookie monster. Um, salted pretzel and corn. Uh, there was one more that I didn't buy because it was uh, like a dark chocolate with something that I did buy one dark chocolate But there was one that I did not buy that uh, we found these at Jungle Gems International Market up at the checkout So we didn't see these throughout the whole store and then we got to this one particular checkout and we had these if you watch the uh, video where we reviewed the pizza slices the with the candy. It wasn't actually pizza. It was candy, like candy pizza slices Yeah, like <laughs> uh, chocolate. Uh, this is the same company. The CB stuffer is the same company. So uh, their um, Website is cbstuffer.com and they are in Massachusetts So uh, they were $4.99 each at Jungle Gems $5 a piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this this is the marshmallow and then i'll let kevin do his thing while we look at it it uh, there is not a other than it saying marshmallow peanut butter cup well there's not a description really that it's a fourth a fourth of this is 200 calories so the whole thing is 800 calories so it has milk chocolate, sugar, milk cocoa butter, it has vanilla, peanut butter, oh yum, dry roasted peanuts. We need to make sure we get some of the marshmallow. It has marshmallow. So, but there's there's not like a description because really the, the title tells you what it is. A lot of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Um, I get mostly peanut butter. I do get a little bit of the marshmallow flavor, but not a lot. It's mostly peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It's good though. And the quality of it truly reminds me of a Reese's. The peanut butter, it's the texture. The texture, that's what I should say. The texture of it is just like a Reese's cup. But now the- Except the chocolate's harder. But now the peanut butter flavor isn't as strong as a mm, Reese's, no. but it doesn't have that greediness either, like a Reese's. No, have. it doesn't. But the the whole texture of the cup itself, it would remind you of the texture of a Reese's cup. Yeah, it, don't you think the chocolate's a little far, a little crunchier though? A little yes, firmer? but I think it's much thicker. I it mean, is this thicker. is it's much 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 thicker. Uh, if you think about it, a Reese's cup is a very thin layer of chocolate on the it top because they really want you to taste that peanut butter. Yeah, this, it's a softer chocolate. Period. This is a much, much thicker layer of chocolate on top. But now, it's good though. I like I'm not mad butter. at it. No, you know? <laughs> I, like the, I like the peanut butter in the uh, and the chocolate. This is going to be the s'mores. Yeah, these... Uh, if, if you watch the video where we did the, the pizza slices, the, of the candy, they were wonderful. We reviewed the cookies and cream, and then we had an M&M pretzel. And the quality was terrific, and so it makes me wonder. Um, I went to their website, and they do sell other items. It's, uh, they used to be B-A-C-C-I, Bocky, Backy, Bocchi. <laughs> Um, but I think they changed their name to CB Stuffer as far as what I gather from going to their website. And like I said, they're in, um, they're in Swamps, Scott, Massachusetts. So I'm wondering if they have a storefront, if you're in Massachusetts, where you could go in there and buy the stuff. Because from what we've had, the quality is just, it's terrific. Mm -hmm, it's uh, so the s'mores is 170 calories for a fourth. And I'm okay. supposed to eat that. I gotta get it. Well, it's, next time. It all smush. Next time, do better. That's what Ashley would say. 
Do better. <laughs> the chocolate's so thick that it wants to smash it instead of cutting it. There's nothing you can do about it. It's good. It, I don't know that it reminds me of a s'more, but it um, it does have the peanut butter, I mean, the, the marshmallow and the graham in there. Mm -hmm. Still I get more of the peanut butter flavor that time than I did the last time. Yeah, I but taste some of that graham. I honestly, in neither one of these, to be completely honest, I didn't taste marshmallow in either one of them. I, I get a little hint of it, just, just a little bit of that sweetness, but that's it. I like the, the texture of the graham cracker that they added that. It's a little because, gritty, yes, because you already have the peanut butter, and then I, that adds a little bit more to it. I think the s'mores for me was sweeter than just the marshmallow. Um, probably. You think it was yeah. too? But I love it. I, I, it's so good. I, it's wonderful, yes. I'm wondering which is going to be the biggest difference, you know? So these have kind of been similar um, to where you're going to notice a, really, really notice a different flavor completely besides the peanut butter and the milk chocolate. That's what I'm wondering. So what's this? This one is Cookie Monster, and it is oh, wow. chocolate chip, let's see, ooh, chocolate chip and cookies and cream cookies. So you have chocolate chip cookies and cookies and cream cookies. Um, it is a hundred... Sorry, it's thick. <laughs> 180 calories. Just whatever one of those you want. I don't even know if there's any peanut butter in that one. Mm. I think that's all cookie dough. Did you taste any peanut butter? Yeah. Do you? Oh yeah. I oh yeah. I don't really good. Lots of peanut butter. Wait. See, Kevin and I are complete opposite because I taste that tastes so strong. I get, I get more peanut butter after I eat it. Yeah. I, I love the texture. That I one's love, the best one. Yeah. That one's been the best one we've had. And not that there's anything wrong with any no. of these. All of these are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. But that, I love the addition of the the chocolate chips mm -hmm. and the cookie pieces. So in our previous video with the um, the cookies and cream pizza slice, you had the texture of the broken cookies on the top. This had that texture of those broken cookies on the inside. And that's terrific. There's a clear difference. I wondered which one would be really different. I think there's a clear difference between that one and the rest of them. I still think the peanut butter flavor is a little lighter. I mean, I get it, but it's like, um, it's not quite as strong as the other ones. Ooh, this one has salt on it. Yes, this is salted pretzel, mm -hmm. and it's in milk chocolate. Okay, good salty anything. And it is uh, 210 calories. I think this has been the highest calorie one. Two, yeah, 200, and then we had like a 180 and a 170. This is 210. So, oh yeah, it looks good. I found if you start on the edge and you work your way in it. You become a professional at it. Well, it doesn't squash it all. Here, you want that bite. I just want the chocolate and the salt, honestly. <laughs> And I would have never known as a kid I would like chocolate and salt. But that is like the best combination you can have in candy. That's my favorite so far. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get a piece with a lot of pretzel in it. I think the piece you had had a lot of pretzel in it. Gosh. Um, but, but I got a few little pieces of pretzel in there. It adds, it adds a crunchy texture to it. But the salt like puts it over the top. That, and of course I like it the most and it has the most calories. You know, of course that's the way it works out. Always. That's like anything I like that I see, of course it's going to be the most expensive. Because I, you know, um, that, the salt content in that and the crunchiness of the pretzel. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that's why Reese's did that. Mm -hmm. Reese's has the, the, the a pretzel. pretzel. Um, and this is absolutely incredible. Mm, it's, it's very, very good. Yes, incredible. The last one we have is caramel. 
And this one is in dark. I did get this one in dark. And they had another one available. <laughs> Ball of. And I don't know why I didn't. Um, maybe because it might have just been dark chocolate with peanut butter and I thought, oh, I can skip that one. Because I was paying $5 a piece for them, you know? And so, um, uh, but this one is actually caramel. It's actually sea salt caramel. It says sea salt caramel, but it's in dark. So it'll I be- I can feel the salt on the top. Interesting to see the difference in the dark and because all the other ones have been in milk. And this one is 200 calories. That ball in the middle was- Ooh, caramel. that's caramel. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's caramel. But if that's the only place the caramel's at. Well, yeah. Well, think about the marshmallow. The marshmallow was kind of a blob in the middle too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to get it and if anything, I'll just take a bite out of the middle of it. Whatever. Leave the rest. Here, just cut it right there. No. If I cut, cut it there, then right I'm not there. gonna get any. No, I'm saying cut this and give it to me, and then oh. you can cut that and give it to you. <laughs> just, the, just the middle. Yeah, and I won't eat the edge. We've had the edge of every one. Gotcha. Yeah, we just won't eat the edge of this one. This is where the caramel's at, is in the middle. This will prop up the big piece. I like that caramel. The dark chocolate does really makes a difference though. Yes. It I'm glad about my decision. Yeah, I wouldn't have liked a whole bunch of those. I'm glad of my decision of not buying just I like I said, I think it was just dark chocolate peanut butter. Because oh if you are a fan of dark chocolate, you're gonna love this. Mm -hmm. It is so dark. It will dry your mouth out. Yeah, oh yeah. That's it has I mean, that bitterness. It's still a good quality dark chocolate though. It's I mean, very good quality. Very, and I get the saltiness quality. and I get the caramel flavor. I would have liked it better in milk. Yes. I just I just yes, I wonder if they do a sea salt yeah. caramel in milk chocolate. That one I wish um, there's two things. I wish it was in milk chocolate. Yeah. And I wish the caramel will spread out a little bit more on the edges. But beyond that, it, it's still really good. Because if you you're gonna get like four or five bites in the middle and then the caramel's gone. You're just gonna get a I'd Peanut say it's guy. hard for them to make them. You want it to seal without it spilling I out. I know, the but edge. they need to go closer to the edge. A yeah, little bit. it because it, it's literally a ball in the middle, like this big, out of this whole thing. Right. So for me, that would be my last one. Because somebody has to come in last. That one's gonna come in last because it's just dark. It's it's the dark chocolate. I just I don't want something that dries my mouth out like that. You know, like I'm, I said, the quality's there. Though. It's not my last one. It, it's actually the first one. The marshmallow one is the probably going to be my last one. Um, then that would be my second to last one. Okay. Fair enough. Which is your first? Um, the the pretzel one. That's yeah. The pretzel and the cookie. Those are my top two. That's yeah, what I was the pretzel thinking. and the cookie are my top two. So they're $5 a piece. So usually... I'd get the pretzel or the, either one of those, pretzel or cookie, I'd get either one of those. Um, I would, yes. Salted pretzel is phenomenal mm -hmm. and cookie monster is it's also it's, good is phenomenal yeah so and if they had a caramel and milk chocolate that might be a third yeah yeah I, I did like the caramel in there mm -hmm. quite a bit. so we have only seen these at jungle gems and i did look up a store locate like locations where you can buy this cb stuff or brand Honestly, when the map came up, it didn't even show Jungle Gems. It only showed places like where they are in Massachusetts. And there's all kinds of places there that sell it. But Jungle Gems didn't even show up. So who knows how Jungle yeah. Gems ended up with it. I think it. they get just like, hey, send us a couple cases of your chocolates. You right. know, or whatever. And then I tell it. you what, though. If you could order these and have them shipped, <coughs> Depending on, you know, I wouldn't want you to spend a lot of money, but they're that good. They're, they're very good. Very, very, good very good quality. If and, you and already thick, like peanut butter. And thick chocolate. I mean, yes. chocolate's super thick. You, you'll be able to see in the picture how thick some of the chocolate This is. would be a wonderful specialty gift for the person who has everything sitting around their house. They don't need any. Mm -hmm. Put this thing. in a gift basket of some kind. Yes, you could get them one of each of these and. It's been fifty dollars. Uh, yes, but it's gonna be something nice. <laughs> but it would and, be nice. And they're gonna, you know, they don't have to eat them all at once. And they're gonna, if they enjoy chocolate peanut butter, they're gonna love these. Mm. So these are excellent. So let us know, please, if you've seen these in 
Um, especially, let us know, do they have a storefront if you're in Massachusetts? But if, if you're in a different state besides Massachusetts, have you ever seen this brand? I would be very curious to know that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.